Hi there, this is Jonathan Ginsberg. I'm one of the attorneys here at the Bankruptcy Law Network. And today I'd like to talk to you about a situation that I see here in Atlanta where I practice, and I suspect that uh, this situation is common throughout the country. Uh, and this involves a case where you have a judgment lien against you uh, that is filed by a creditor or collection agency or debt buyer or law firm that is no longer in business. So in other words, you have a judgment that is showing up in your credit report. It's stopping you from qualifying for a mortgage or a car loan. But if you want to try to resolve it, in other words, pay the debt off or negotiate some sort of a settlement, there's nobody to talk to because the debt buyer or the collection agency has gone out of business. And here in Atlanta, I see this a lot with a big law firm that is now out of business called Man Bracken. And Man Bracken is a collection law firm uh, that for years and years was filing lawsuits by the hundreds uh, in Atlanta and throughout the southeast and I think throughout the country on behalf of creditors. They bought the debt and then they would file uh, collection lawsuits uh, to try to recover what they could. Uh, for various reasons, Man Bracken is now out of business. But what's happened is you've got literally thousands of people out there who have judgments uh, against them filed by and owned by Man Bracken. And in most cases, there's no successor in interest. In other words, uh, I think the Man Bracken, uh, all their portfolio is tied up in a bankruptcy filing. There's nobody who nobody to talk to. And so if you look at your credit report, you see a judgment, but you have nothing to do with it. You can't resolve it. So here's some thoughts about how to deal with that type of situation. And again, it doesn't necessarily have just, to be, just have to be Man Bracken. It can be anybody who's got a judgment that's now, now out of business. So first thing I would do is pull your credit report and see if there's any successor in interest uh, and see if there's any sort of indication that somebody has purchased the account or is now uh, the owner of that account. If that's the case, you can approach that person, either yourself or through your lawyer, and try to work out some sort of a settlement. Many times, uh, the purchaser in interest only has a piece of paper. They don't have any uh, documentation, and you might be able to negotiate some sort of a very reasonable settlement, five cents on the dollar or something like that, uh, because the creditor, uh, in, new creditor doesn't have any proof that the debt actually is legitimate. Um, so that's one thing you could do. Now, if there's nobody to, to talk to there, the second thing you could look at doing is uh, finding a lawyer and filing what is called a collateral attack against the judgment in the court where the judgment was issued. Now, my feeling is you've got to have some basis to file that collateral attack, meaning you can't simply just file it because you want to get rid of the judgment. Um, if you have an argument that you are not properly served or that the underlying debt was incurred by fraud, there is some sort of procedural or substantive issue that made that judgment not valid, then I think it would be appropriate to file a collateral attack. Um, because realize that when you do that, there's a good chance no one's going to respond to it, but you may be asked by the judge, what is the basis of the collateral attack? And I don't think it's good faith to say, I just wanted this to go away. But again, that's something you need to talk about with your attorney to do that. Of course, there is a cost in following a collateral attack, but that is something that you could do to make the judgment go away. Third option would be simply to wait it out. Uh, in most states, in every state, I would venture to say, uh, judgments have a limited lifestyle, lifespan before they go stale. In Georgia, for example, it's seven years, uh, although they can be renewed, but again, somebody's got to renew it. So after seven years, the judgment becomes stale and it should, it's no longer enforceable and you can challenge it uh, on the credit report. You go to the credit reporting agencies and say, we have the stale judgment here that's more than seven years old, please remove it. Because of course, any negative information on your credit report is supposed to come off after seven years. And I would point out that it's really important that you be proactive here, that you contact the credit reporting agency and that you ask them, you demand that they remove this judgment so that it no longer damages your credit score and it would not show up when somebody pulls your credit report. So that's a third option would be just to wait it out and once you hit seven years or 10 years or whatever the, the appropriate uh, statute would be in your state for judgments, uh, it will then go away. But again, you want to be active in, in going after that. The fourth option, which is what I get involved in typically as a bankruptcy lawyer, is to file a bankruptcy, whether it's Chapter 7 or Chapter 13, and then file a motion to avoid judgment lien. The bankruptcy code allows us to do that. And basically what it says is that a judgment lien, a civil judgment, can be avoided 
or made basically vacated to the extent it impairs exemptions. And of course, exemptions are the property that you can shelter in a bankruptcy case. Uh, to the extent that it does not impair exemptions, uh, you have exempt, you have non-exempt property that is uh, out there, and theoretically the judgment would survive that. But most of the time in bankruptcy, the judgment uh, is going to impair your exemptions. You can file a motion and you get an order from the bankruptcy court declaring uh, that judgment avoided. You would file that in the appropriate record, whether it's a general execution docket or the real estate record. Of course, give a copy of that, send a copy of that to the credit reporting agencies, and that judgment is no longer a secured debt against you. It's an unsecured debt, and it will be discharged when you get your bankruptcy discharge. So, of course, in a Chapter 7, that could be four or five months. In a 13, it may be uh, five years. But regardless, it's a way to make that judgment go away. So those are some thoughts about how to get rid of a judgment from a defunct or out-of-business creditor like Man Bracken or, or anybody else like that. And uh, again, it's a good way to get your credit re report cleared up uh, even outside of bankruptcy, but certainly even if you do bankruptcy, make sure to get that judgment lien avoided. So I hope this has been helpful. If you do like this, uh, please uh, give it a thumbs up on YouTube or a like on Facebook. And of course, if you have any questions about bankruptcy matters really anywhere in the country, please reach out to us here at the Bankruptcy Law Network. Thanks a lot.